Hey, it's Coco Lovely. I'm back doing a quick review. Um, so, I have some really good news. I'm so happy. Everybody that's watched the videos knows I always talk about different products and um, different resources as a business owner. It's really important to make sure that you have a lot of different contacts, more than one supplier who can who can meet your demands for products as far as pricing and just product availability. So I've been having a hard time. Um, this is my first year with my new business and I've just been trying to make new contacts and just get out there and, you know, kind of like learn about the industry. Um, even though I've been in the beauty industry for my goodness, almost 30 years. I feel crazy to even say that I started beauty school when I was 14 um, and I have a huge background, um, done so many different jobs in this industry. So, you know, I'm familiar with it, but I was away for a minute and, you know, I just feel like I'm kind of having to get my feet wet with all the new products and just with the new technology. So with that being said, I wanted to share a beautiful discovery I found here in my town, Las Vegas. And this just goes to show I need to get out more and see what's out there um, because I always go to the same um, beauty supply. So let me cut it short here. Um, I've been looking all over the place like crazy for these wig caps and they were right here in town. Um, this is a great U-part wig cap. It does not have any lace in the front. So when you put your closure on, you can either make one or you've got the place for the scalp, okay? Or if you want to just do a U-part without having that lace on it, you can. And then this was the U-part wig cap that I showed before. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to use this one yet. Um, this one's great. Um, another thing too, I was going crazy looking for Swiss lace, literally like looking on the internet and just looking for it everywhere. And this beauty supply had it for $4.99. Um, the same company, QFit. So you can actually make your own wig cap, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I had already went to Joanne Fabric and bought some, this is called Tool. I think it's T-U-L-L-E. It's a French fabric. It looks like mesh, um, but it's not mesh and it's not lace. Um, but it's, it's skin tone colored. So I had already gotten these because I was practicing um, attaching these synthetic closures onto the fabric um, so that I could make a wig with it and make more of a natural part. Okay. Um, also too, I bought some glue. I'll pause my camera in a minute and show you guys the glue that I bought, which I'll never buy again. This was just for practice, but the glue flaked in the hair. Um, and I think I got impatient and didn't let it dry enough. I should have, I should have gotten the clear tacky glue. So this was just for practice to see, you know, how it worked. It was my first time. Um, another thing too, I got a lot of samples. Um, very generous beauty supply, very nice. They even gave me a little bottle of wig spray, um, which is good for synthetic wigs. Um, detangler, you can use it on human hair as well. But when you have a high quality human hair, you really don't need this. You would use a leave-in conditioner, in my opinion. Okay, um, got some products which I really like a lot. And then um, I noticed they've been giving out this Jamaican um, castor oil line lately at every beauty supply I go to. So pretty much I have the whole line here and I've been using it, they're pretty much gone. I've been using it for about a month or so, approximately. So every time I go, they pile it up in my bag. So I guess they're trying to introduce the product. Um, Pulled out my thread because I'm noticing different companies carry different tones of brown. Like this was the color brown I used for this closure. But then, you know, we've already got this chocolate brown here. Um, I have this huge one I haven't opened yet. Um, what else? What else? What else? Got my black thread here I can use for the black wig cap. Um, other than that, I'm looking forward to making this Swiss lace wig cap. This has got me excited. I'm going to do a test one on some mesh fabric first so I don't ruin this. Um, but this is basically what it's going to look like. That's my goal. So once I finish, I'll come back and do a review as well. But this company is QFit. I know if you Google their name, um, you can get the product, but I've never seen this Swiss lace. So this must be something new or hard to get. Um, one thing before I go. I talked before on a video um, about how to contact a distributor 
when you want to purchase a product. And I've been looking like crazy um, for this product, and that's why I couldn't find the distributor. But whenever you want something, if you look on the back of the packaging and find out who distributes the company, that's how you can find out how to order it. Let me see, get my camera on it. So this is a company. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google them. This is their website. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, it says www.durago.com, D-U-R-A-G-G-O.com, M&M Headgear Incorporated. So this is the first time ever that I've been able to find out the manufacturer of this product. So now I'm going to buy it wholesale from them because if I'm buying it for $4.99, they probably got 12 of these in one case for $4.99. If that, it may have been two, three, four, five dollars dollars $5, $10 max. So they're making quadruple amount from one little box and overcharging it. And another thing too, I always talk about money. You guys know I'm a banker. So any way I can save, I will. These were like $0.44 cents and $0.30 cents at Joanne's Fabric. Also, this was $7.99 at the new beauty supply. They had a really good attitude, super nice, but overpriced. Um, the wig cap like this, this brand is $3.99 right next door to them, literally the next parking lot. And this company makes this same product. And I was on my way um, to the other location and because um, I didn't know, you know, they carried this. And the beauty supply owner matched the price and took this down from $7.99 um, to $3.99 to match this so I wouldn't go to his competitor and I thought that was awesome. I'm going to pause it real quick and show you this glue not to get um, if you're going to be gluing your closures down to lace whether it be Swiss lace or a mesh or a tool fabric. I'll be right back. Okay here's the glue. Uh, the reason why I purchased this one is it said it was okay to get it wet or wash it. And I was worried about the fabric glue being, being tacky or too sticky, which it still does feel sticky um, on this, on the back part. So um, this little sample pack was like $2.99 instead of me getting a product, you know, for a larger size that I wasn't sure about. So anyway, I hope these little tips help. For those of you who have asked me questions about how do you get started or, you know, how do you make wigs, um, it's all about saving. We always talk about that every time and just maximizing on that dollar. Um, buying hair on sale, I got this whole table full again. Um, having a Black Friday sale, I got a lot of work to do and a holiday sale. So with that said, you know, um, it's all about working smarter, not, holler, not harder. So have a good one, everybody. Thank you.